WFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to the 2 p.m. update with me, David White, here at TFNN. Of course, as we uh, really just uh, taking a big uh, step back and waiting for Chairman Powell to make comments, uh, I don't think anybody's going to be surprised when he remains rather hawkish. Uh, we're down, uh, what, uh, 10 points on the S&P cash now, something like that. And eh, just kind of light and variable uh, NASDAQ of course, down a little bit more, down uh, eh, 54 points or so, half a percent. Uh, but uh, probably on hold until then, not a lot of reasons to uh, get too excited. Of course, uh, we are on the cusp, on the eve of fun buying, but uh, generally not a lot of people wanting to be too brave in front of what Chairman Powell is going to say. So it's uh, a lot of hurry up and wait. Uh, we continue to see some of the bigger tech uh, stocks uh, uh, that have been down for a while, like Apple down another 2% today. Microsoft, not so bad, down about half a percent. But uh, eh, a lot of people, uh, a lot of reasons for Apple to probably be weak. And that probably should factor into anybody trading the indexes as uh, they are the biggest single contributor to all the big indexes, the Dow, the uh, S&P, the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ Composite. Um, they literally infect everything. And it's a hard day to get uh, a market up when Apple is down, as I said, 2%. Some of the other ones out there that we're going to talk about on the show today is Intel. Uh, they've come out with some new server chips. We'll talk a little bit about that. Um, and uh, kind of uh, as AMD used to be kind of a joke in the server business, they did have some business, but it wasn't much. Uh, Intel only up into uh, about 18 months ago owned about 90% of all the server business. I think that's going to change fairly quickly. Uh, we'll be back in a minute and we'll uh, go on with the show. The reality.